following program is recommended for those 16 and over as it contains sporting violence, possible bad language and flashing imagery. Everybody, Todd Grisham here getting set for Misfits X Series number five. We are in Telford, England. If you don't know where Telford is, don't worry. We didn't know where the hell it was either. I'm here right now. I still don't know where it is. But it's not about where Telford is. It's about what Telford is. And it is the center of the crossover boxing universe today as we get set for the weigh-ins. And, mate, yesterday's press conferences got a little rowdy. Maybe the same thing will happen today at the weigh-ins. I don't know what's going to happen. That's why this is so excited. Let's get this party started. X-Series number five, the weigh-ins for Swiggler versus Lamau. Here we go. What's up, everybody? How you doing, Telford? You guys are all influencers. I'm asking for your support. Cheer for me again. Let's try it again. For God's sake, this is your event, right? Here we go. Hello, Telford! All right. Marginal at best. But I'll tell you, I've been covering combat sports for over 20 years, and I'll tell you this, I've never seen anything like what's going to happen tomorrow. We've got a tag team boxing event. We'll explain more of that in a minute. We've got a female matchup, and of course, our main event, Jake Swigler taking on Nick Lamau. Let's go! It's hard to take that seriously because he was such a joke of a fighter. This boxing, anything can happen, bro. But I'm not denying that. But I think you'll be scared, and I think that those nerves will sap your energy. I'm not giving Jay any fight. I'm not letting him build his career. At the end of the day, when I walk out, ring, win, lose, everyone hating on me. Respect. been there been places no one should go if you've been there then you know there's no such thing as solo wherever you go we go every step every wall every climb we always have your back I spent the last seven years of my life living out my wildest dreams We passed talking. I was the best, though. But I never got a chance to prove that. I know what you're doing, Donnie. You don't owe this dude nothing. And now, after the arena. He's doing the damage. It's over. It's over. What we are seeing is incredible. Deliveroo presents Decision Time. You want everything, but what's it going to be this time? Pizza. Yes. I love you. Scrap that. Burger's in town. Come and dance, you delicious meaty beauty. Chicken. Go on, have a pink bite. Rain down, you... Oh, Tim's ordered noodles. Decision made. Order now. Deliveroo. Food, we get it. All right, we are back live, ladies and gentlemen. If you saw our press conference yesterday, you know things got pretty hairy in a hurry. Let's hope, do we hope for fireworks or do we hope for calmness? 
calm afternoon. We probably won't get it. Here we go. The first of seven fights on the card coming to you live from Telford, England tomorrow night on DAZN presented by Misfits. Introducing first, making his way to the ring, the obese 18-year-old fighting out of Kent, UK, Tempo Arts. Here he is, Tempo Arts. Hey, for God's you're not, he's not that obese. I never saw him coming. And now, get ready for this, guys. This is a long one. Please welcome. Oh, we're going to do his weigh in first. 282 pounds for Tempo Arts. And his opponent, the owner and creator of the globally renowned luxury jewelry brand. He's recognized as the author of many of the most sought after designs today. He's made pieces for the likes of Meek Mill, Crept, and Conan. Please welcome Godson. Two hundred and fifty two pounds for God's son. Here's our heavyweight opener, stare down. Combining for well over five hundred pounds. Silent, but who will be deadly tomorrow? All right, Godson, real quick, you are a designer, so tell us, what do you have designed for a game plan tomorrow night? First round knockout. First round knockout for Godson. Godspeed. All right. Get up here. All right, so why did you have me say that you are the Obese 18 year old. What's going on there? Uh, I was 160 kilos when I first started. 127 now, kg. So uh, still obese. Uh, when I get down to 100, I'll stop calling myself obese. But that's like my uh, thing I've been saying for a while. So people that watch me will know that. Uh, it's my thing, sort of. All right. What is your obese self going to do to this guy tomorrow? Well, he didn't want to shake my hand or whatever. So that's fine. Uh, I'll just uh, do what I said. Round two, I think I'm going to knock him out. Uh, if not, points, because I'm not going to be like, oh, yeah, 10 seconds, round one, knockout. I'm being realistic, round two. So, Good luck to you. Thank you, mate. All right, give it up, everybody. Tempo Arts. All right, we got some breaking news here, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, fight between Waleed Sharks and Ace Musa is currently under medical evaluation as of now, so that is still up in the air. They will not weigh in right now, so we'll move on to the next fight. Please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, the GOAT of Lockdown TikTok and the CEO of You Silly Boy with 1.5 million TikTok followers. Welcome to the ring, the Silly Boy, Ginty. One hundred eighty nine point three pounds for the silly boy. And now making his way to the ring, excuse me, a YouTube star with a debut victory on the KSI Logan undercard, a debut victory on Misfits back in October. Now making his second appearance, ladies and gentlemen, from Scunthorpe, England, representing the United Kingdom. He's the boss man from the corner shop. Hello.
190 pounds even for Halal Ham. Take your time. The whole world's watching. <laughs> All right, here's the stare down. Ginty and Halal Ham. You didn't think I'll make the weight, did you? I didn't, you but didn't you think made I'll make it. it. You made it, so well done. Yeah. How selling pictures of your wiener on all At least I can see mine. You've got a fat belly, so you can't yeah. even see it. That's great, mate. That's great. You sell pictures of your winky. <laughs> You're an influencer boxing journey, man. You're useless. You sell pictures you of sell your pictures. winky. You're still getting knocked out. That's great, mate. When's your growth spurt, G? Are you still a kid? That's great banter. So I can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> When are you going to grow? <laughs> Anytime soon. Yeah, great banter, mate. You've not even got a watch on. No, I'm not, I don't. Yeah, I don't need to flex. All right, guys. Eyes front. That was some weird trash talk. <laughs> All right, Ginty, real quick, we're not going to talk about your winky. We're going to talk about what you're going to do in the ring tomorrow night to Halal Ham in your second appearance on Misfits. I'm glad to be back. Last time, you know, I fought JMX, two weeks notice. This time I've had a full camp. This guy is finished and he knows it. He's a bitch. Um, he's getting dominated. He's getting outclassed. He's underestimating me, but, yeah, he's getting a smoke tomorrow. Tomorrow he's going to be called not Halal Ham, Smoked Ham. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right, hello, Ham. First of all, congratulations on your weight loss journey. I know everybody's you. proud of you. Just before we get to the fight tomorrow, just kind of what you can, you can say to maybe some kids around the world who are trying to lose weight themselves to inspire them a little bit. Yeah, so I come from a background where doing what I do is not really supported. Uh, obviously in families and, and obviously like being in like the Asian and like Middle Eastern backgrounds etc so obviously people who come from where I come from and like other backgrounds and stuff like that if you've got a dream go and do it yeah the on only person stopping you to do something is yourself so everyone who comes from a similar background to me and obviously other backgrounds etc if you've got a dream go and do it if you want to lose weight go and do it again like I said the only person stopping you to do it is yourself that's awesome Inspiring words. Okay, now let's talk about what you're going to do tomorrow in the ring against a man who says he's going to smoke your ham. Uh, well, um... <laughs> yeah, great banter. Uh, well, uh, this is what I'm going to do to him, yeah? I'm going to go inside the ring, say hello, and then finish the boxing fight before he even starts. Good luck to you, hello, ham. Good luck to you as well. I appreciate it. All right, one more time. Hello, ham and Gitsy. Can't wait to see it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the first female world title fight in Misfits history. Introducing first, fighting out of, well, i got to get these right, Hertfordshire, 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 UK, Filipino fire herself, AJ Bunker. One hundred and ten pounds for AJ. And now her opponent, a Chelsea fan by day, one of the biggest OnlyFans stars in the world by night, now turned influencer boxer. 
here to become the best female in this space. It's the queen of UK TikTok, Astrid Wett. One hundred and twelve point one for Astrid Wet. Say, can you read? Because not only am I coming for the crown and the title, but I'll be coming for OnlyFans as well soon. So you'll be out of a job there too. <laughs> Babe, you're never going to be on my level, no matter how hard you try. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> we will see. See when you're eating my punches on Saturday night. Mate, I'm hungry for them. I will eat them up and spit them right back at you. Don't you worry. <laughs> oh, I like you just spit out your words just then. Yeah. You're not spitting out your words. Well, I just don't want to be rude. I'm not a rude person like you. Just giving back what you're giving to me, honey. I'd be nice. I don't know about you. You'd be a fucking bitch, but okay. <laughs> we'll go with Ooh. it. It's fine. I'll teach you a Can't lesson. Can't handle the heat? Oh, I'm fine with heat. I've handled a lot worse than you. Yeah, well, Trust sure. me. We'll see Saturday night. We will. Mm. <laughs> right, ladies. Eyes front, please. Thank you very much. All right, AJ, what makes you so confident that you're going to beat Astrid on Saturday night? I'm fitter, I'm faster, I'm more hungry, I'm more aggressive. And, um, yeah, look, I'll say it now. Astrid Wet is getting slept, whether it is a knockout stoppage or by points. She will not beat me. I will not rest until she is finished in that ring. Good luck to you. Thank you. AJ, and now let's hear from Astrid. Astrid, you look great in your first fight. How do you expect to see things go tomorrow night? There's nothing that AJ can do that is worse than what I've already been through. So I'm not scared. I'm happy. I'm so confident. Thank you so much, JJ, for being here. I appreciate you on holiday right now. But, you know, I appreciate your support. Love you loads, babe. So, yeah, I'm excited. All right, it's Astrid Wet and AJ tomorrow night. Good luck, ladies. Thank you. And next, ladies and gentlemen, it is a tag team contest. Woo! I feel like it's a WWE, a tag team contest. Introducing first, the team of Anthony Vargas, Ice Poseidon. They are D-Generation Ice. Yes. Ice Poseidon to the scale first. Sixty nine point seven. Oh, my Next to the scale, hold on, you're not touching this mic, pal. All right, next, next to the scale, Anthony Vargas. Hundred and sixty-eight point five. And now their opponents. The tag team of B Dave and Luis Pineda. Los Pineda! First 
first to the stage, B Dave. One sixty eight point five for B Day. And now to the scale, Luis Alcaraz Pineda. One sixty nine point eight for Pineda. Well, this will be an interesting stare down, Mams. How are we handling this one? Two on two? Yeah, two on two. Two on two. Here we go. All right, let's talk to our fighters real quick. B. Dave, we'll start with you. How does it feel to be part of the first ever tag team contest in Misfits history? Feels good, man. I'm excited, and I'm really tired right now. Why is that? Late night, partying, a bit hungover, but it should be fun tomorrow anyway. Well, are you going to let Pineda start first, and you take a rest? Maybe he doesn't even need to tag you in. Uh, yeah, I was just thinking about leaving Pineda in there, letting him go the whole time. I'm probably just going to sit on the corner and have a beer or something. All right. <laughs> Tell him that his partner is going to be drinking cervezas during the fight. No, but when he's there, I want to fight and win. He doesn't care. He just wants to fight and beat. Him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How do you feel? How do you? How does it feel to be so popular within this community? I think, other than KSI, you seem to get the biggest reaction. He's very, very happy. He feels very happy and, you know, really grateful for all of you. All right. all right, Anthony, your thoughts on these two guys you're going to be fighting tomorrow night? With little to no training, I feel pretty confident in tomorrow. So little to no training. Is it little or is it no? Little to none. To none. Okay, so you've seen B-Day fight. You've seen Pineda fight. Why do you feel confident about those guys? Um, I don't know. It just looked like they got tired real quick and they got out. Okay, and your, you, your manager is here. Maybe you speak well. What, what's going to happen for, uh, tomorrow night in this fight? Listen, it'll be pina coladas you're drinking because DJ Generation Ice are going to crush you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And dare I even ask this guy a question? Uh, your thoughts on the fight? <sighs> Can I touch this mic? I would prefer you didn't. Obviously, I'm a man with no fear. And you must never fight a man with no fear. Okay, I guess they're canceled to cancel the fight tomorrow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our two tag teams. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for our next contest, fighting out of Watford, England, one of the four members of the band Rock Sue, he is Ashley Rock Sue. I'm gonna hold this.
a very fit 180.3 pounds for Ashley Roxu. And also fighting out of Watford, England, the YouTube sensation and member of Beta Squad, the one and only King Kenny. One seventy seven point two for King Kenny. Both these fighters in spectacular condition. You ready? You know I am. Yeah? Yeah. It's going to be a good fight. It is. Two seconds. Mm. After you've done it in three, I'm doing it in two. Yeah. This is a bad choice. It's you lot are miscalculated, bro. Never. Yeah. We never underestimate anyone. Miscalculated. You get a slept in two seconds. Okay, but we both. In two know. seconds. Why are you being silly? I'm not. Why are you being silly? I'm not being silly. You really silly. think you're going to knock me out in two in seconds? In two seconds, bro. You think you're going to knock me out in, in two, two seconds. seconds? Do you know how long two seconds are? Yeah, I know. One, two, bang. You're okay. on the floor. All right. Oh, <laughs> Well done, mate. That was good. Okay, guys, eyes front. Thank you very much. All right, Ashley. Pretty disrespectful. He's giving you two seconds in there. What are your thoughts on the level of respect that he's giving you right now? I mean, I don't really mind, like, at the end of the day, him and his team have made the decision because they think I'm just somebody else that they can walk through en route to whatever they're doing, but I know deep down, obviously you know he's not going to knock me out in two seconds, um, I'm just here to be the party pooper and just ruin the plan, so yeah, it's what it is. Good luck at your party pooping. Thank you, man. All right, and now let's welcome King Kenny. Kenny, you've got skills, you've got style, why are you so confident, though, you're going to put this guy out so soon? Uh, because I haven't seen, he hasn't got as much skill as me. I think I'm the better fighter. I'm stronger, more speedy. Uh, I've got a better ring IQ. I think it's going to be a great fight, fight of the night for sure, but I'm just the better fighter. It's as simple as that. Well, if you knock him out in two seconds, it's not going to be the fight of the night. It'll be the knockout of the night, though, so good luck to getting that. For sure, for sure. Right. King Kenny, everybody. All right, for those of you that saw yesterday, the press conference got a little rowdy, especially when it came to the showdown of Dean the Great and Pulley Arif. Let's take you back. That's a boy, yeah. Just use the S. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Guys, guys, guys. Guys, no need. Save it for the night. Save it for the night, guys. All right. And now they come face to face again, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome to the stage first. He's fighting out of Luton, England, Pulley Arif. One thirty two point three for Pulley Arif. <laughs> and now fighting out of Long Beach, California, by way of Tampa, Florida, from the streets to the big stage, Dean the Great. <laughs> Got his own entrance music.
131.1 for Dean the Great. Hey, tomorrow night I'm taking over this bitch. Give me the mic. The yeah, week, bro. No, 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 no. You ain't doing shit, man. Tomorrow night I'm taking over this my show. You dig what I'm saying? I'm gonna knock this fool out. I'm gonna show everybody with diamonds doing it. I'm lights to shine. No cap. Good job, bro. All right, boys. Right. I think we've had enough of a face off. Come on, over there. Get some. This group we started as a fan. He a fan. This little group he started as a fanboy. You a fanboy. I'm gonna knock you the fuck out tomorrow. I'm gonna knock you the fuck out. You've said that six times this week. I know one person leaves you to shut your mouth. Sorry for the kids. My mom was watching and the grandmas and the aunties. Excuse my language, but you get knocked out. Okay. Alright, that's up to you. Alright, Pulley, I'll give you a chance here to respond. Uh, obviously, Dean the Great's been down this road before. He knows what's up. You've seen him fight. Why are you confident? He's underestimating me, and I can't wait to prove everyone wrong tomorrow night. What is he under, underestimating you in regards to your skill, your heart, your will? Everything. He just thinks he's going to win. He thinks he's going to walk through me, and I'm going to prove everyone wrong, and I can't wait. All right. Can't wait to see it if it happens. Uh, Dean. Yo, yo. So when they first said you were going to be fighting Pulley, what was your response? Um, I mean, when I first originally, uh, before I knew the man, well, when, I, when they announced that I was fighting him, I met him in, uh, at the Wembley at the KSI fight when he fought Temper. And he came up to me asking me for a picture, saying how much he loved my videos. So, I mean, it's crazy how life works. Fans, rivals could be uh, goddamn idols could be your rivals. Hey, never meet your heroes. Facts. <laughs> All right. Well, what are you going to do to your fanboy, as you say, tomorrow night? Same thing I do to everybody else: just knock him out, sleep him, show everybody why I'm Dean the Great. All right. Good luck to you, Dean the Great, everybody. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, we Hold count on. down the. Oh. I, I need some props. I need some props. Hold on. Yeah. He's Dean, the not so great timing is his new name. All right, coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, it is the weigh in for our main event Jay Swigler taking on Nick Lamau. <laughs> such a joke of a fighter. He's boxing and anything can happen, bro, but I'm not denying that. But I think you'll be scared and I think that those nerves will suck your energy. I'm not giving Jay any to fight. I'm not letting him build his career. At the end of the day, when I walk out ring, win, lose, everyone hating on me, I respect him. Have you been there? Been places no one should go? If you've been there, then you know. There's no such thing as solo. Wherever you go, we go. Every step, every wall, every climb. We always have your back. I spent the last seven years of my life living out my wildest dreams. We passed talking. I was the best, though. But I never got a chance to prove that. I know what you're doing, Donnie. You don't owe this to nothing. Deliveroo presents Decision Time. You want everything. But what's it going to be this time? Pizza. Yes. I love you. 
Scrap that. Burgers in town. Come and dance, you delicious meaty beauty. Chicken. Go on, have a pink bite. Rain down, you crisp. Oh, Tim's ordered noodles. Decision made. Order now. Deliveroo. Food, we get it. Without further ado, let's welcome to the stage the two men competing in tomorrow night's main event. Introducing first, from Los Angeles, by way of Sweden, Nick Lamau! One hundred fifty seven point six pounds for Nick Lamau. <laughs> and now a YouTube star, one half of the famous TGF bro. He returned to the ring and headlines Misfits Series Five from his hometown of Telford, England. <laughs> One hundred sixty three point eight for Swindler. He ain't good, bro. Whoever shout in next good, he ain't good, bro. He ain't good. He <laughs> good. <laughs> You're done, you know. I can see it. I can see the knockout. Hey, Nick, I love it. Great attitude. Just tell us your thoughts as you prepare to fight this man in his hometown. Hey, one more day. I don't have to say anything. People are going to hate. They're going to see tomorrow. That's all I got to say. One more day. And, and what's the uh, thought process be be behind putting his face on your underwear? Hey, these, this last week, bro, I feel like we're best friends. So uh, I'm, I'm locked in now, so I can't be super friendly towards him. So I just want to make sure he knew, you know, there's no bad blood. But I'm serious now. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow night. Nick Lamal, everybody. Did you ever think in your wildest dreams you'd be fighting a main event in boxing in your hometown? Yeah, bro, I'm Jay. What? <laughs> bro, Tal Telford's a crazy... Bro, this guy's going to find out tomorrow. This play, he's going to hate every second of it. This place ain't like America, bro. I know you've been in London. I know you used to live in Shoreditch forever. Telford is nothing like that, bro. It's, you're going to hate every second of it. How would you, you say Telford? How would you describe Telford and its people to those who don't know? <laughs> you know what? I got a little chant that I think describes it, you know. I would rather have a doctor than a wife. I would rather have a doctor than a wife. That's what I want to hear tomorrow. That's what I want to hear tomorrow. The, the roof's getting lifted. This guy's getting slammed on the ground. I cannot wait. All right, let's give it up for tomorrow night's main event, everybody. Nick Lavelle and Greg Swingler. All right, let's take one final look at our fight card for tomorrow night. Seven fights on the card. Our first fight of the night, heavyweight showdown. Tempo Arts takes on Godson, then it's... The Misfits flyweight title on the line. Astrid Wett and A.J. Bunker. And then tag team action. Yes, in boxing, as fan favorites B. Dave and Luis Pereira take on Ice Poseidon and Anthony Vargas. Then back to, to, dress, back to traditional action. King Kenny and Ashley Roxu. And then the Misfits lightweight championship on the line. Dean the Great taking on Puli Arif. And, of course, 
the main event, the hometown hero, Jay Swingler, and a super middleweight dust-up with Nick Lamau. That's the big event. Tomorrow night, the action starts at 6 p.m. UK time with our countdown show. We will see you then. Good night, everybody, from Telford, England. It's hard to take that seriously because he was such a joke of a fighter. He's boxing, anything can happen, bro. I'm not denying that. But I think you'll be scared, and I think that those nerves will suck your energy. I'm not giving Jay any fight. I'm not letting him build his career. At the end of the day, when I walk out of ring, win, lose, everyone hating on me, I'm respectful.